The calendar and the thermometer are both telling everybody one obvious truth. It's getting colder outside. But that doesn't mean it has to be colder inside your home unless you crank up the heat and then get to ponder the impact on your heating bill. Energy efficiency and conservation measures have been in place for some time now to help and encourage homeowners to button up their homes through things like better insulation, which can make a big difference, particularly when it comes to some of the older dwellings many Vermonters live in that may have gotten a little drafty over the decades. The town of Dorset has had an active energy committee for some time now and has been playing a role in the ongoing Dorset Tomorrow effort in conjunction with the Vermont Council on Rural Development. Several meetings have been held to promote energy conservation, and last week Efficiency Vermont, a statewide energy efficiency utility, sent Becca White, one of their representatives, to the Dorset School to make a presentation about that and also about weatherizing homes and the financial incentives that are available. We talked with Becca White afterwards about some of the hurdles homeowners may have to navigate in order to effectively weatherize their homes. Well, I'd say it's twofold. I think even folks coming to a presentation like this tonight is the first step because most folks don't know where to start, and it's actually a really complicated process for some homes. It can be really simple for others, but if you don't know that and you don't know the benefit, you're just going to stick with the status quo. So information and education is the first thing. Uh, And then the second big hurdle is definitely financial. Folks either don't understand that they're spending, they're throwing money out that they don't need to, they're heating the outdoors or they're cooling the outdoors and they don't need to do that, or they do understand the value proposition, but they don't think that they can do an upfront cost. So the incentives we have this year with up to $4,000 for low to moderate income, for monitors for 50% of a project cost for weatherization, and then up to 2,000 for moderate or upper income for monitors. Um, those incentives have made a big difference. And then layer that with the low, even zero interest percent financing, that has changed the game. I mean, I have so many folks who reach out to me about that in particular because the financing is when rubber meets the road, if you can actually do it. Weatherizing a home is no small undertaking, and there are some upfront costs involved with that before the longer-term payback is realized. That said, there are many reasons to undertake the effort, said Bill LeBerge, one of the members of the Dorset Energy Committee. Yeah, I think most people just need to have somebody come along. Efficiency Vermont does this well. Neighbor Works of Western Vermont does this well. Um, Well, they'll come in and look at your property and show you where the lowest hanging fruit is. Weatherize your attic, you know, seal your basement. There are certain areas that they can locate that you'll get the biggest bang for your buck. In addition to that, they're they're offering rebates. They can lead you towards where you can find financing for them. And typically, like when we work with Naval Works of Western Vermont, they will have somebody come in and they'll identify various areas where you're losing money right now. Uh, it's, it's costing you money to not do the work. And, and they will show you that once you do this work, you're actually going to be cash positive. So you're going to have to lay out some money right now, but you're going to be warmer. You're going to be more comfortable. Typically, your house is going to be quieter. That's what we found when we did our house. Um, And you're going to save money. So then, you know, that that becomes a a really large equation to have to look at. But they also have incredible rebates, Uh, especially right now when I heard about the rebates they had. There's some income sensitivity, but um, a family of two, I believe it is, that makes less than $90,000 a year is eligible for up to $4,000 worth of a rebate to go towards the weatherization process. So, so that's some real money. Town governments also have a useful role to play, said Rob Giotti, Dorset's town manager. Yeah, so, I mean, I think the, at first um, it's leading by example um, and trying to have operations and facilities, um, you know, at the town level um, look at energy efficiency improvements um, that can be made to try to, to try to save energy um, because that obviously saves tax dollars, which is important. Um, so leading by example. And then I think the um, secondarily, there's, there seem to be quite a lot of resources available um, for certain demographics to, to make improvements to their homes um, for, you know, stuff like thermal remediation, um, 
uh, furnace switch outs and stuff like that. Uh, the heat pump programs that some of the utilities have. Uh, there's, there seems to be quite a bit of resources available. And um, I think from our perspective, maybe a lack of outreach by some of the entities that, um, that have the resources, maybe just because they're, they're, um, they don't have a lot of bandwidth to do outreach, or maybe they just have had a difficult time making inroads into, into Bennington County. But that's um, another, I think, opportunity is if, if, if the town or the energy committees see that um, you know, there's certain resources, classified resources available. That you know, how do we um, potentially find uh, you know residents or businesses that are interested in doing some of this stuff, and just you know showing them the resources that may be available to them, and not in a manner of um, you know forcing somebody to kind of look at stuff. But if people are interested, just knowing that there are. You know, there are some resources available um, that people can look into that can, again, um, tackle some of these, I think, the um, ener energy related kind of heat home heating um, issues that folks have been focused on lately because it's it's now winter. Sometimes finding the right contractor for a job, even if you've worked through everything else, can involve some time and effort, said Jeff Dexter who is helping form a town energy committee in Sunderland. As with all new industries, and this is still the green economy as we call it, relatively new, you have to be patient at times uh, with when you can get an audit. There's a two or three month uh, lag time to getting an energy audit at your house or your business. Um, and then to get the work done, it can be a little bit longer too. So. We're almost in the stages of where we were 100 years ago, going from horse and buggy to the automobile age. Uh, and it's going to take a little while. But as I said before, getting to that climate economy or that green economy, as they call it, uh, will reduce the lag time, but also give a great number of jobs to our families, our friends, our neighbors, and getting people to come to Vermont. Efficiency Vermont's website contains a lot of information on the various financial incentives being offered at the moment, which can add up to some substantial savings or tax credits. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.